Funko made their name on these guys and they're so cute. Like you cannot look at one of these figures and without saying, oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing in the entire world. You know, a lot of people from the outside don't understand the community, but you know, there are fanatics who go to each other's weddings. There are people who've been married that met through becoming Funko collectors, right? That's an awesome community. So we wanted to create a game system that would allow that passion to come out on the tabletop. And it was like, okay, well, what if all of these Funko collectibles kind of lived in the same universe and interacted in, the, in this universe? As someone who loves the pop brand already, like, finally something I get to do with my, my figures. Funkoverse is a game system where you use figures to battle one another. In the game, players are competing to gain points. You choose a scenario, and then you choose which figures you're going to play with. You're using different people like Batman, Robin, or Harry Potter, Voldemort, and doing these little battles, it's really fun. Ours is a miniatures game that's meant to be accessible by everyone, even if you've never played a game like that. We listed all of these sort of elements about these miniature games that were kind of difficult to manage, like for example, points values and the idea of, you know, combining your armies. It's very simple mechanisms of moving and things like that, and you don't have complicated combat tracking mechanisms. I can go home and play with my buddies or I can go home for Christmas and play it with my nieces and nephews. We wanted to show those core gamers that this is truly like a strategic game as well. In developing this game, we had, we had the limitations of the game boards. So we couldn't use basic pop size. We had to shrink them down. And it was really important to us that people play with the characters in their size. The proportions of like the limbs, of the hands and the feet, uh, the necessity for the characters to hold props. When you play as Catwoman, she can use her whip, or at the beginning of the game, maybe Robin can take up the whip and he's gonna use the special powers that come with that. Well, so the game designers kind of told us that the origin would be that the Funkoverse was fractured, and then it's uh, the job of the design team to try to figure out how to convey that visually. Our industrial designer created this custom shape, which we call the fragment, which is the points inside of the game. That actual shape is used in the fragment motif that appears all over the, the game components. Everything that you do is a decision point, right? Again, it wasn't just stopping it. Okay, now we made these fragments. It's like figuring out the colors. Again, it's not just now we made these bases. It's figuring out those. It's figuring out the opacities. We wanted these characters to be as adorable as a pop figure usually is, but placed in sort of environments where it seemed a little more dark and dangerous and like something was about to happen. These characters are gonna be running around in this space, it's gonna be dynamic. So when you look at the table and you see the characters sharing the same space, they feel like they belong together. I mean, it takes an entire game studio. While it's one big massive project, at the end of the day, these fandoms are individual fandoms. What do fans really want to see? What do we, as the fans, really want to see? It has to be about getting at the core appeal of who those characters are, what motivates them, what can they do, and what are their stories all about. I mean, once Golden Girls make their way into a tactical miniatures game, you know that anything can happen. We realized immediately what the potential was. Funko has over a thousand licenses. There's so much unexplored space in the Funkoverse and the things we can do and the mechanics we can play with. If you actually sink your teeth into it and just really start playing it, you're like, oh wow, I get it. I can do this and that. Oh, that's awesome.